even and odd. What is even signal? A continuous signal is said to be even if x of minus t is equal to x of t. Okay? x of minus t is equal to x of t. Means even if you change the sign of t, it gives the same signal for all t. This is called even signal. Even signals are called symmetric signals because these are symmetric about the vertical axis. Let me explain with an example. Take x of t as a cos t. What is x of minus t? a cos of minus t. Cos of minus t, you know it, it is cos t. So what is this x of t? Means, what is the conclusion? Cosine signal is a even signal. What is the plot of cosine? This is your x of t which is a cos t. So this is symmetrical. This is the vertical axis. The signal is symmetrical about the vertical axis. Hence even signals are called symmetrical signals. Okay. Then. What is odd signal? A continuous signal is said to be odd if x of minus t is equal to minus x of t for all t. For all t. Okay? And these are called anti-symmetric signals. Antisymmetric signal. We will see what is this antisymmetric uh, concept by taking one example. What is the example here? Take x of t equal to a sin t. What is x of minus t? a sin of minus t and we know sin of minus t is minus sin t. So, minus a sin t which is nothing but minus x of t. Okay. So, x of minus t is equal to minus x of t. Hence, your sign signal is said to be odd signal. Okay. Sign signal is said to be odd signal. Let me draw the plot. This is the plot. See here. This half cycle. This is 0. This half cycle. Will appear. In negative portion. See here. This one appears in negative portion. So this is called. Anti-symmetric nature. So, the odd signals are anti-symmetric about the zero axis. Okay? I think you are clear with even and odd. If x of minus t is equal to x of t, then that is called even signal. The example is cosine signal.
and if x of minus t is equal to minus x of t that is called odd signal the example is sinusoidal. Any arbitrary signal any signal can be decomposed into even and odd components. Okay. Let me explain this uh, sentence or concept. Okay. Let x of t is a signal. You can express x of t as sum of even components and odd components. Let be equation number 1. Now keep t equal to minus t in equation 1. So 1 implies x of minus t equal to x e of minus t plus x naught of minus t. We know x e of minus t is x e of t. We know x e of minus t is x e of t because x e of t is an even function. And x naught of t is odd function so x naught of minus t becomes minus x naught of t. Okay. What is this? This is x of minus t. That be equation number 2. Okay. Then do one plus two. So what are you going to get if you do one plus two? X of t plus x of minus t is equal to x e of t x e of t two into x e of t and x naught of t minus x naught of t cancel. So what is x e of t from this? x of t plus x of minus t by 2. Okay, this is the even component. Can be obtained by taking x of t plus x of minus t by 2. Same way do 1 minus 2. I will get x of t minus x of minus t. x of t minus x of minus t. x e of t, x e of t gets cancelled. So, it is now x naught of t. Okay. So, what is x naught of t totally? x of t minus x of minus t by 2. Okay. So, what is the purpose of these two equations? These two equations are used to find the even and odd components of a given signal. Okay. Suppose if x of t is given, then by, by doing this, you can get the even component in present in that signal. And by this, you can, you can find the odd component present in the signal. Okay. This is all about the continuous case. Suppose... If you go for discrete case, means the even and odd signal definitions in the case of discrete, for even function, x of n equal to x of minus n. What is the example? This is n, we know it already. Discrete means it consists of samples. Let be the axis one, two, three. Suppose if this is the sequence for 
n n greater than 0 the same sequence must be there for n less than 0 okay so say this here it is having symmetry okay x of n is x of minus n same way take on x of n is sorry x of minus n is minus x of n. I will take one example again. Let be 0, 1, 2, 3, same minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. Suppose if it is your x of n. Let be 1, 2, 3. If this is the sequence for n greater than 0, and for n less than 0, this is the sequence. Okay. Exactly, for n greater than 0, whatever may be the sequence, it gets shifted to the negative amplitude value. That is called odd signal. Okay. The same concept here I explained can be explained even for uh, discrete case also. In the discrete case, we can write, in the discrete case, we can write x of n is sum of xc of n and x naught of n and your xc of n even component you can find it by going for same with the odd component Okay, these are the formulas to obtain the even and odd components present in the given discrete sequence. Fine, this is about your even and odd signal. Now, we will do one problem on finding whether the given signal is even or odd. Okay, we will do one problem. Problem number one. Consider the signal x of t equal to sin pi t by t. Where minus t less than or equal to t less than or equal to capital T. And it is 0 otherwise. Find whether the given signal is even or odd. You have to find whether the given signal is even or odd. Okay. How to do it? Yes. First you write the given equation. Then replace t with minus t. Then you are going to get x of minus t that is sin pi of minus t by t. What is sin pi of minus t by t? Minus sin pi t by t. Okay. So if you see x of minus t, it is minus sin pi t. So, what is your minus sign pi t by t? This is nothing but your minus x of t. So, as x of minus t is equal to minus x of t, minus x of t, the signal is said to be, so the given signal is said to be odd. The given signal is said to be odd. So, we will do another problem. 
okay find the even and odd components present in the given signal x of t equal to e power minus 2t cos t how to find even component x e of t equal to x of t plus x of minus t by 2 Okay, here you have x of t, then find x of minus t. e power minus 2 of minus t cos of minus t. e power minus 2 of minus t is e power 2t. Cos of minus t is, we know, cos of minus t is cos t. Therefore, what is x e of t? e power minus 2t cos t. And what is x of minus t here? plus e power 2t cos t by 2. Okay. Take half cos t common. e power minus 2t plus e power 2t. Is nothing but or you can write cos t into e power minus 2t plus e power 2t by 2. Nothing but your cos t into cos h 2t. This is for cos h, expression of cos h. Same way, how to get the odd component? What is the formula? x0 of t equal to x of t minus x of minus t by 2. x of t is e power minus 2t cos t and minus e power 2t cos t. cos t common e power minus 2t minus e power 2t by 2. So, it is equivalent to cos t into minus sin h 2t. So, it is minus totally cos t sin h 2t. I think you understand. So, simply by using the formulas, you can find uh, uh, the even and odd components present in the given signal. Okay. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe.